Alright guys, welcome back to another episode from the Craftonomical server. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Guys, today I'm excited because we're going to get going into the automation process of AE2. We're going to be using all the molecular assemblers and all the stuff and things. So we're going to get crack a lacking right into it. So at first we're going to make the molecular assembler. Now you can already make 10 of these. Okay, we're just going to make 10 because that's all I budgeted for. And then we need to make these ME interfaces, which should be easy peasy. I made 11. Dang it. I wanted to make 10. Okay. All right, so we need to make both of these because this is how we're going to handle the automation. And then we also need to look at the, uh, the I think they're called patterns. Yeah, blank pattern. We need to look at these. Give them a look. Give them a wee look, would you? And then we're going to use, as you can see, I have a lot of service quartz. We're going to use that instead, and we're going to make nine. Jeez, that's all we could make? Can we make any more? We might be able to make some more like this. Oh, yeah. 64. Perfect. We won't need those yet. Um, and then if we go down here, I've already got a dense ME terminal. Not a terminal, but a smart cable here. Um, so that's isn't that 32 channels. Yeah, so we can have 32 channels for these guys. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go out. And we'll go like this. And basically, we're going to make this kind of cool looking pattern. And we're going to go up on top of here, up on top of here, like so, like so, and then like that. Okay, so this is going to be one little, uh, we're going to call this like our server room almost. This is going to be one, um, we'll call this like a crafting area. I don't know, what should we call it? Like the mother brain or something, something cool. Um, what we're going to do now is we are going to run... A dense cable down here. I might actually end up coloring these in the future, so we know it is what. Oh, we're get, are we out of range from our? No, we're not out of range. Oh, I wonder if we're out of range here, huh? Anyway, but look, as you can see here, this is all on. These are starting to flash a bit. We can access these. So this is where we put our patterns in there when we've discovered what pattern we want to do. So say for example, we need. Let's see. Let's get these right. Um, let's automate the quartz glass. So we go like this, we, if we put our blank patterns in here, we're telling our system, if you have glass and surface quartz dust, to make one of these. So I'll show you down here. If we go, say here, we'll throw that pattern in, right? And then now, if we come back up here, and we wanna craft a certis, oh, I think it's called quartz glass, right? Yeah, so let's take out the stack of quartz glass. Okay, perfect. Now we can click on this, tell it, hey, we want to craft half a stack of, thir so 32. Next, we have 32 glass available, 40 surface quartz available, and we can craft up 32. So, oh, yep, I forgot an important step. We need crafting uh, CPUs, basically. Okay, so my mistake. Um, you see these guys here, crafting unit? These are what we need. So we need to make up one of these crafting units. We should be able to make that. Nope, we are not. We're not, because we're noobs. Oh, here comes the crafting. Here comes the crafting chain. Okay. Just make a few of those real quick. Make a few of these. We're, gra we're gonna grab the cheap ones. Okay. Throw those back in there. Now we can make a crafting. There we go, perfect. So we're only gonna need one of these now. Do I have any 1Ks left? I do, check that out. I believe it just goes like this. Boom, 1K crafting terminal. Perfect. Oops. Oh, look at that. Would you just look at that? That's cool. Okay, so now we're going to build here. We're going to build here, like so. And we're going to make a little tap here for our... Pfft, wrong one. <laughs> like so. And then this is where we'll put our uh, 1K crafting terminal. Perfect. So all of these will be filled up with 64Ks eventually. That way they can process a lot. So now if we go here, when we look up quartz, what the, oh, I used the Y. Okay, so see, here we go. We're going to make 32 again. And now we have a crafting processor, so we can go ahead and do that. And let's see here. Are they already done? Is it already done? Do we already make 32? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was freaking quick. Would you look at that? Lightning fast. 
Now, the cool thing is you can actually put acceleration cards into these guys, but with the way we have it set up, if we want to craft one of these, right, this pattern here, it will use this uh, molecular assembler, this molecular assembler, and this molecular assembler to make the 32 of those. So the cool thing is we actually don't have to keep coming down here. If we look here, you can see all of our molecular assemblers, and these are all the interfaces for the patterns for them. So we're looking here, and it's literally combining all of these together into one area. So literally, when we have like like uh, automatic pulverizers and auto crafting pulverizers to make certain stuff, it will literally show us how to do it. So I think that is freaking fantastic, if you ask me. Um, and the cool thing is, we can just run these out throughout the whole area and. Um, I only think we're going to have four of these, so not too many. We won't need too many, um, but pretty cool. So that's how we make the pattern. So let's make another one just so you guys can see um, how cool these guys are. So what's something we normally like to craft up? Let's have a look here at Applied Energistics. So we made the glass. Now let's see about... Let's, uh, let's get auto crafting on the acceleration card. So here we go. The, this crafts two for um, one of these crafts, right? Um, so if we go here like this, we can go, hey, we're going to put this in this one instead. Um, and then we can make those. And then in order to make the pattern beyond that, we're not going to use the pure ones. We're going to use the cheap Fluix ones. Hold up. I need to grab one. Boom. And then we make that pattern. And I like to have it so that uh, basically you don't have like this step and then think think of these in steps. So if you had, if this is the first step and you had, this is the last step. I don't like to have these in the same one. I would rather have these going up and down. So each one of these, uh, I mean terminals has one task in it. So that way it's a lot quicker. So as soon as this one, say if we had this here and then the next step was here, as soon as this one's done crafting one of them, this one can get started instead of waiting for all of these to finish before crafting the next step, if that makes any sense. Hopefully I didn't explain that too quick. But let's see about auto crafting the acceleration cards. So here we go. Let's make, we'll do 12. Here we go. And boom, already up to 12. That was speedy quick. So now if we look here, boom, there's five, or yeah, five. There's five, and then we'll only have two for this one. But each one of these will have a, have max speed upgrades in them, so that way these things craft at like supersonic duper mega 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 super duper speeds. If that made any sense. Um, so let's see here. What next can we make? Um, we can try. Oh wait, let's see about crafting the four case. Can we craft any four case? Um, let's see. We got one. Where are the storage units at? I, I can't see them. I'm blind. Where are they at? Where'd they go? Where'd they go, though? Um, okay, here they are. Got them. So here's the 4K. And it takes... Ah. So we need... Okay. That might be our next process to automate. Let me see about that. Give me one second. All right, guys. So we're going to try to automate the process of making these processors. Actually, that was kind of funny what I just said. But anyway, uh, I should have enough here. We need to make eight because I already have one. Yes. Okay, perfect. We made eight. That's all we need. Now let's go back around, and we're going to grab the other one I have. And we need to make these into a three by three. And I'm going to try to cheat this system a little bit. Uh, we're going to see if we can automate this better than what it was intended for. I'm pretty sure I've got a good idea of how we can do that. So... Um, let's see, do we have the storage for it, the space? Okay, so if we were to do it, they would be... Why are those different? That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, uh, I want to have these inset one, so we might have to do these on the back wall, like here, uh, which isn't a problem. Um, actually, what if we mirrored this on the other side? Uh, we can do that. Oh, my armor. I didn't realize my armor's almost gone. Or, my helmet's gone. Wow. That stuff has lasted me quite a while, so... Over here, we went one, two, three, and then started it. So let's see. One, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three. This is where this will need to be. And then we'll bring this out over up top. And then this is where, okay, so we don't even need this here. Perfect. That works in our favor. All right, so we're going to try. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Interesting, it updated it. Okay, so because we can lock these in, I don't know if we will need um, 
stuff. I'll just say that. <laughs> this is going to get a little tricky here. Um, we're going to need, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, I'm going to try to do this with you guys on camera. Um, so we're going to need two chests, like buffer chests. Uh, so we're going to grab two diamond ones. That's how we're going to do this. We're going to need a retrieval node. Let's look up how many nodes we got. Items, that's fluids. So we need um, one of these. And we need to make a retrieval node. Actually, let's just look up node. All right, and then this is for items. Perfect. Should be able to make that? Yeah, without a problem. Okay, so now we need our pipes. And because we can lock the uh, the, the items here, I'm, I wonder if we're able to just get away with this. So buffer, buffer. Uh, we're going to put items into one, and then we're going to retrieve items out of one. We don't need two. Okay. So if we take items out of here, right, and we connect them into the back of here. Hopefully we can get away with this. Okay, so let's see here. We're gonna need three silicone presses for the top. So sil, I got two. So let's make a block of iron so we can copy it. This is how you copy um, presses if you, in case you guys were wondering. We're gonna need an inscriber in the back for real quick. Let's grab one. Inscriber, wow, I've got 12 extra. I did not need that many. Overkill, okay, so we're just gonna put this guy here and then throw you there and then here and this should, yep, it's slow though, no acceleration upgrades, jeez Louise. Okay, oh, and I just remembered why that one didn't um, join the other ones is because it has the acceleration upgrades in it. Learn something every day, huh? Or you just remember something. Okay, so top one here. Oh, not three, just one. <laughs> and then we'll go two, and then we'll go three, and then lock it in. Mmm. We might need to make filter pipes for the top. So filter. Hmm, let's see here. Can we do this? Trying to do this the cheap way. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work. Uh, uses, can we make these into any other? Transfer filter. I think that's what we want. Transfer pipe filter. I don't know, which one? I'm gonna make both. We're gonna see which one we like more. Oh, so we'll make, oh, that comes with four, and then this comes with four. So, I, okay, I guess this this will let us test. So, I don't know the difference. Hmm. Okay, maybe it would... What the heck? Okay, let's break this guy then. All right. Unlimited, huh? Wait, let's see here. They're, they both say trans or transfer filter, transfer pipe filter. Oh, did I just crash? Uh oh. All right, we're back. I think we're okay. We're getting rid of these. Oh boy. Okay, we're going to do another method. I don't trust this because um, it did crash us. So, and I'm pretty sure there are still blocks lingering around. Um, and I do. Uh oh, I do think I remember someone talking about in the past um, that these pipe filters were bad news for the server. So we're going to see about using something else. Uh, I'll be back once I get relogged in because I'm going to try to break those blocks and not crash the server again. So I'll be right back guys. All right guys. So we're going to end up using the thermal dynamics pipes instead. And I did some testing and I think I found out how we're going to fix this issue. So let's give it a go. 
Um, we're going to place all these back down how we wanted them. So just like this. All right. Okay. And we can place these chests here. That's where we'll extract from, and, that, and then we'll put into this one. Um, let's see. We're going to use these guys. Just like so. All right. And, oh, wait a sec. How are we going to get items out? Hmm. That's a good question. Where's that other silicone? There it is. Okay. Hmm. Can you pull items out with this? Hmm. I don't think so. I mean, all we would need is for it to be too taller. Hmm. I think we can squeeze it in here. Let's see. We're going to do it anyway. Um, now, these should all break. Yep. These don't have any problems. I can't break them with this, which is annoying. What if I use Vein Miner? Cause that, did that, would that work? Oh, yep. That works. Perfect. Ooh. Modifier. Jeez. Expert level. Craziness. Okay. So we actually... If we go... Like so. And then we place these on top and then we place these on top then we place these on top these will be the um, extraction things that way we're able to extract obviously <laughs> um, yeah so this actually worked out pretty well because um, we can go up here like so all right now we can see all of them so now we're going to need to put some on the back, like so, go like so, oh no, I need one, two, three more, okay, let me craft these up, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I finished it off, put servos everywhere and the filters everywhere, so what we're going to be able to determine now is what goes where, and hopefully... We can do this very efficiently with, I would love to do one chest, just like right there. And then we'll come across here, obviously, and then we'll break the, or not break them, but make it so it can't pull out of here. Um, hmm. Actually, let's break it off there. We don't want, okay, so. Maybe instead of doing that, we pull, we put them back in. Oh no, we need that. We need that there. Come back. Okay. So, it, let's take this through. Okay. So it extracts from out here and then goes in there. Actually, we won't even need, won't even need a filter because these will all just extract back in. Okay. Perfect. 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 So let's work on the silicone. So we'll need silicone to come out of the bottom of these. So we need it to whitelist silicone, whitelist silicone, and then whitelist silicone. Okay, so it, it will only allow silicone to come out the bottom. That's what we need. All right. And then um, we will need some silicone to go in. So it, it will only allow silicone to go into the back of this. So we will go here like this, whitelist, silicone, whitelist, silicone, and then whitelist, silicone. Okay, so it will only allow the silicone to go into the side here. Actually, how are we gonna power these? Hmm, it's a good question. It's a very good question. We might have to change up uh, these just a little bit. Um, let's see. I believe if you power it from the side, we should be just fine. If we come down here, yeah, we should be able to power all these now. Actually, let's make it so it's a clean shot. And we'll just go right here. 
We'll break it off here, break it off here, break it off here, and break it off there. Okay. So see, still doing the same thing. Just now we should be, and these should transfer power to each other. So we should be able to just run cable up the side. And then, yeah. So the, the cable that runs up the side will power these and we'll put the items into there, um, which will be pretty cool. We'll, we'll have to extract out the top, it looks like, and do some shenanigans and wire it around. But other than that, we should be okay. All right. And then we're going to need pure Certus Quartz, we're going to need gold, and we're going to need diamond. And so for each of these, so the middle row now, so we'll allow only diamond to go in here, okay? We'll allow only gold to go into here, and we'll allow only, not silicone, the pure Certus Quartz. So Certus Quartz, gold, and diamond. Perfect. So those will make each of the processors. Now let's see here. Hmm. Um, what are they called? Um, the unfinished product, basically. Let's look it up at Applied Energistics uh, Circuit. We need the circuit. Oop, not the not, not those. The I, okay, so we don't have any uh, diamond ones, so we can just make those, and then we're going to need the presses. Okay, so calculation, perfect, that's for that. I'll tell you what later. Okay, so logic, engineering, okay, so we're going to need, we need one more engineering. And then we're going to need to grab a diamond, because we've got one set up, remember? So we're going to need to make sure it's, it's uh, we gotta, we got to have one of these, one of these guys. So we'll wait for this one to craft, and then once it's crafted, we can go over and filter out those. Um, so the cool thing is, is this is for the extraction, so this will only extract, hold up, wait. So this will only extract this guy. This will only extract this guy. Ooh, geez, all messed up. And then this will only extract Sorry, extract the diamonds ones. Okay, so pretty cool. And then we can actually filter these now. So this will only filter. This will filter the diamonds. This will only allow in. Let's see here. Okay, so this is gold. This will only allow in the gold. And this will only allow in the pure Certus Quartz. So let's go here. Um, so the Certus Quartz. So we need the calculation circuit here. This is the gold. Wait, where are you at? <laughs> gold, yeah. So logic goes in there, and then this is the diamond. So then get the silicone one out, and then that goes in there. Okay, let's just make sure silicone's in each of these. Nope, not in this one. Perfect. So now we need to grab some redstone and the silicone. So redstone. And the silicone, yep, we've got some, perfect. All right. And then we'll filter these so they only put in redstone, silicone. Redstone, silicone. Redstone, silicone, perfect. All right, and then we're also, we want to fill each of those up with redstone already because when we try to auto craft things, it's going to create a little bit of havoc. So we'll just grab three stacks of redstone and we'll put them in at the bottom. So that's just for our, uh, just think about it. We put it in here. Uh, the redstone that goes in here will replace the stacks that get used here. Um, trust me, that's how, that's how we want it set up. Um, Let's see, and then to extract, we need to get one of each processor. So let's grab, oops, some silicon. Let's grab some redstone, obviously, and then we'll grab the, sweet, so we've got one of each. So let's make, here, I'll make these off camera, be right back. All right, so we've got each one of each made up already. Um, so now the extraction, so this is, this is the calculation processor, so it'll only extract that. This is the gold, the logic processor, which is the gold one. 
So we'll extract that out of there. And then this is the diamond one. So this will only allow the diamond ones to come out. So now we put the diamond ones go in and then it only takes those out. Perfect. All right. So let's see here. Well, actually, I'm going to need those ME interfaces. I'm going to need one, and then we're going to need um, an import bus. So let's make an import bus. Where are you at? Export. Import. Perfect. Oops. Going to need you. Do I have any? We have nothing. Great. I'll be right back. All right, so let's see here. I've got everything we need. So we're going to need to... Oh, would you just look at that? Okay. So this might be a little tedious. Um, so we're going to come through. Power's going to... We're going to have to fill everything in. Trust me, I know what I'm doing, I think. Perfect. There's a cable here. We might need to make this a dense cable, actually. Oh, geez. No. Oh, no. Okay, give me a second. All right, so here's the moment of truth. I was able to route an ME, uh, a smart cable, dense cable, whatever you call it, all the way through. And we are actually getting power to all of these guys, so that's really cool. Um, and I also got an ME interface up at the top there, so we'll be able to automate this. But what I want to do is we're going to... Okay, first off, let me check and make sure we have enough redstone in each of these. We do. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do... We'll grab this much redstone. Um, let's see, we're going to grab some diamonds, some of these, okay. And then we're gonna grab some silicone. Perfect, we got 64, okay. So this should make, okay, let's see here. All right, it's making it. Now I wonder Let's see, what happens when... Servo. So I wonder when it's full, what the silicone will do. Okay, so, okay, so the printed silicone's already coming back. I don't, s oh. Okay, so the silicone one doesn't matter. If this one is just hammering away, I guess that really doesn't matter at all. So let's take these out and throw them in here. One second. All right, so this is going to keep like pumping them out really quick. Are these making them yet? Oh my gosh, is this working? Gold goes in. <gasps> So it's waiting for the silicone to come out. Okay, if we have speed upgrades in all of these, I think we should be all right. Um, okay, so it's sending the silicone. Where are they at? <gasps> nope, not yet. This one might pump it out soon. Let's see. Come on. Still no silicone in any of these yet. Hmm. Come on, pump out the silicone. Okay, so if it doesn't need any silicone. Okay. So I just fast forwarded the silicone process. Oh, 
It works! Now let's see, does it get extracted out? Boom! Guys, it works! It freaking works! I'm so excited that this actually works. I didn't think it actually would. I thought I was gonna fail. Oh man, I'm so happy we automated this. Oh, that's so awesome. Freak yeah, dude. We're just gonna put the facades up the side. Uh, I don't know if we can put the cable facades on here. Um, are there any covers for these? I don't think so. Um, but I think that's going to wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy, please sure to make hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been Super Turtle, and I'm out. Peace off. Bye-bye.